Welcome back to another anime review. Oh my god, we got two in one day. No, I'm joking. I, I'm recording this at the same time I did the last anime. But this anime is called Reincarnated as a Sword. So we're going back into the Isekai anime uh, again. Unlike the last anime that we did that we never, that was not Isekai anime. So this guy, so it's called Reincarnated as a Sword. Now this, the sword is OP as fuck, but he just, he gets fucking... If he destroys the gems of the monsters that have stuff inside of him, he can steal the fucking skills equipped to him, which is fucking broken as shit. Like, he can... Like, he he beats a demon up. He kills a demon, and then he can steal other people's freaking abilities, which is fucking nuts. Okay, okay. Now, when it comes to... When it comes to the main character, which is the only character that actually fucking matters, except for the other character that comes in later, she is a black cat, and she's small, and she's not doing so good. She's she's in the, she's it's not going good for her, and it's really sad and depressing on how she is it. However, she finds the sword because the sword gets stuck into the ground. She finds it, pulls it up. And now the sword's his master. However, the sword can talk. And every status equip or status effect or any stats or abilities that the sword gets, she also has. Which is fucking hilarious, to be honest with you. I think it's really dope that they have a good connection towards each other. And she's just a fucking badass. She goes out killing, killing shit, killing stuff. And it's pretty fucking, fucking funny on how the hell she kills shit. Now then, when it comes to, when it comes to, um, trying to keep her identity, they decide to keep her identity. However, when it comes to the sword, the sword is her greatest protector. Um, because every, every ability that the sword gets from de destroying these monsters, she also gets, which is fucking broken as shit. Like, that's fucked up. But anyway, the other main character doesn't come in until the second half of the anime. And her name's Amanda. And she's a rank A elf. She's a rank A hunter. And she can fuck everyone up. Like, literally. Like, she goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with her. And she still gets... And our black cat tries to beat her. And she does not beat her because... Of the fact that she gets her ass kicked. Uh, because the, the Great Eight Adventure Amanda has... Uh, how do I say it? She has the ability where she doesn't get affected by any magic. Which is fucking broken as shit. Which is... Which kind of... Which kind of makes me wonder... It kind of makes me wonder... Like, they have the same... This anime when it comes to its third character... I have the same issue with the last anime, which the main character is OP as fuck, which is the black cat. And the main character of, you know, the anime of the management of a novice alchemist. We both know that they're strong as fuck, but then again, their teachers or their seniors are better, more powerful than they are. And that's my main pro that's my main problem with it. I mean... I've seen it in a lot of animes because the time this time of this anime review, I've watched over three hundred and seventy nine animes, and I've seen this done many times before, and a lot better to be honest with you. However, I hope this gets a second season because the action is fucking there. They kill, they she fucking kills fucking goblins, fucking spiders. She also kills fucking like fucking like. Brutally fucking killing him. She fucking decapitates him. I love this fucking soundtrack because it's all like heavy guitar and stuff. That's fucking dope. Um, but it's more of along the lines of we need to kill these people. Let's fuck them up. So my honest opinion, this anime is really good. Hopefully, it gets a second season. It's not that many other characters. I mean, some of the characters come and go. I mean, the only other character that actually matters is the. Guildmaster, which is an elf, but the elf has um uh, the elf has has suspicious of her until the very end of the first season, which is perfectly fine. So that's perfectly normal. Um, and 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 then the only other character that actually matters is the blacksmith because he knows 
that the sword has a conscience because of his god eye. Because he can go. Because our black cat and the sword has a protection magic barrier around her, so people can't identify her or her sword. However, the god eye can numify that, and that's what the main just. I love how there's so many stats that the sword can get, and that's the main thing I like about it. Um, no matter what demon the sword kills, he, she, get, he, and the black cat get. What's that thing? Which is fur. I think that's his name. Her name is. But anyway, they are fucking like ridiculous. And it's a really good anime. Now, when it comes to the other Isekai animes, where do I put this? I'll probably put smack dab in the middle. The comedy is there, but it's not the main focal point. I'm like. My another world with a smartphone or something along those lines, because this anime is mostly due to the fact that it's mostly consumed by action because there's a lot of battles and a lot of stuff. They don't. She only. There's only like a few scenes where she's in town and stuff. Same goes for Amanda. So that's the main gist of that anime. The, the midst of those two characters. Because there's not a lot of scenes. It's just action, action, action. Go to a dungeon, action, action. Kill people. You know, like That's what they do. So, what do I give the, my thoughts on this anime? I'm giving this an 8 out of 10. I think it's right there in the middle. If it gets more episodes, which it should be. Because I think it's a really good anime. To potential. But there's only 12 episodes. So, I hope there's more seasons. Because this anime was really good. Um... I also like to give a shout out to my sister because she's the one who recommended me this anime. My oldest sister, not my youngest sister. She's the main reason why I want, she told me to watch it and I just decided to watch it. Which I still need to watch Fruit Basket at the, at the time of this recording, which I'm still not doing. But I'll get to that later. But Reincarnated with, as a sword gets an 8 out of 10 out of my back. Look, hopefully there's a second season because I would definitely watch it. It's a really good anime and I hope you guys have a nice positive day. And always stay positive. Like I said before, the soundtrack's dope. Um, everything's dope. The only reason why it gets an 8 out of 10, if I must say, is the fact that I've watched so many isekai animes at this point. Like, I've, I'm have i like completely brain dead at this point when it comes to isekai because I've seen so many of them. And that's the main reason why he has to be above the beyond. But I hope that the second season does get released because if it if it goes beyond, it might get nine or ten because it's at that point, and I think it's a really good anime. So I hope you guys have a nice positive day. Stay positive and always take care. I always like to do this shit. What the fuck?